The question number 21 is if the amplitude of particle executing a system is doubled, which of the following quantities will be doubled? And the first option is time period. Amplitude is doubled, so A is changed to 2A. And you know that time period has no effect, so that means same. And total energy, what would the total energy? That is equal to 1 by 2, a constant into A square. So when this is doubled, the new energy will become 4 times the initial energy. And the angle of frequency is same. As time is not affected, so omega is not affected, that will remain also the same. Maximum acceleration. So acceleration maximum is equal to omega square into A. The omega is fixed and as A is doubled, A is also doubled. So your A in the second case will be equal to twice of A, original value. So answer is the option number 4. The question number 22 is the time period of, of spring block system is T. The spring is cut into two parts with their lengths in the ratio 2 as to 3. Now the block is attached to the smaller part and put to oscillation. The ratio of the new period to the old will be. Now dear student, in the case of old, this is equal to 2 pi m by k. Now if any spring is cut in the ratio, say n s to n2, then and the spring constant is inversely to the length. The value of k1 is equal to n1 plus n2 divided by n1 n2 original way. Likewise, if we want to k2, that is equal to n1 plus n2 divided by n2 into original k. I need the shorter. So therefore, k1 is equal to 2 plus 3 divided by 2 into k. That is equal to 5 by 2k. So therefore, what will be the new time period? This is equal to 2 pi m by k and k is 5 by 2k. And what do you get? This you get that 2 by 5 root into 2 pi root of m by k. And this is original time period. So what is t is equal to? Root of 2 by 5 into the original time period. So the ratio of the time t to t naught is equal to first option. So answer is 1 this question. See the question number 23 is for a particle performing simple harmonic motion, the differential equation of motion is given as d square x by dt square plus 4x is 0, the frequency of oscillation. But dear student, this is the equation like d square x over dt square plus omega square x is equal to 0. And if you compare with the given equation that omega square is equal to 4, therefore omega comes to be 2. Then what is omega equal to? 2 pi n. So 2 pi n is equal to omega is given to, then what is n? n is equal to 2.2 pi, that is 1.5 pi hertz. Therefore, the correct option is the option number 2. Question number 24. A particle is performing simple harmonic motion. Given by equation y is equal to a sine of omega t. If the mass of the particle is m, then the average kinetic energy of particle over the time interval of one time period. See, the instantaneous kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 m omega square a square cos square omega t equilibrium position is the mean position. Then the average kinetic energy will be equal to the k into dt 0 to t divided by t. When you solve, half of this value will come. This is half of half of m omega square a square. And that become equal to 1 by 4 m omega square a square. Remember, cos square omega t integration is from 0 to t is equal to t by 2. So note down that cos square omega t dt 0 to t is equal to t by 2. So this would be used to solve this equation. Therefore, the correct option is option number 2. The question number 25 says that the equation of a wave traveling along x axis on the string is given by y is equal to 3 sine of 3.14x minus 314t, where x and y are in centimeter and t in second, the maximum velocity particle. See, if y is given, then velocity particle is equal to derivative of y with respect to time. So, sine changes to cos, and when you take the maximum velocity, that is equal to omega into a. And what is this omega? Omega is 314. And what is A? A is 3 centimeter. So write in meters. So 314 
into 3 divided by 100 and that comes to be 9.42 meter per second. Therefore, the correct option is the first option, 9.4 meter per second.